Right, I'll see you back at the garage. Catch you later, Rubes. See you, babe. Please ask me I am. Don't go over then. How's that tarp holding up? Yeah, all right. The lads did a good job. Cheers for sending them up. I didn't send them up. They came looking for me. Well, it worked out well. Yeah. So Ed's nice. He's got something about him. Hadn't noticed. Yeah, he's cute. Says he's got a girlfriend. <clears throat> I don't think he's looking. Does that mean he's up for grabs then? I wouldn't bother if I was you. Why not? Breaking news, Aaron. I'm a big girl. Oh, yeah, no, no, I know that. I... You think it's too soon? Don't patronise me. No, Holly, I'm not. I'm... My dad's dead. I don't need you to replace him. Forget the coffee. Sorry. I didn't mean to have a go. It's all right, don't worry about it. I was just being with Ed yesterday, mucking about. It's made me feel, I don't know, normal. And then when I started talking about him, I felt really guilty. I mean, how can I even be thinking something like that when my dad's just died? And then I got all confused and... I don't know. Does any of this even make sense? Yeah. Sounds about right. Will it ever go away? <sighs> no. No, it won't, boy. It changes. Do you want I don't even fancy him anyway. Yeah, well, that's good, cos he's gay. Which is what I was trying to tell you in the car. Oh, see you in it, Mayor. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Right. Is she OK? No, she's not. But she will be. Can't keep away, then. Not when you still owe us a drink. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Forgot my wallet. It's all right, nothing I like more than freezing me bits off at a bus stop. I had to go back. Would have flown, but left at the club. Bit of a pattern here, isn't there? Not a good start, then, eh? And again, it can only get better. Come on, let's get a drink. Well, do you, not, do you not want to go somewhere else? I mean, there's a bit of a dump in there, isn't it? I'm just starting off there. Come on. I put it for Rochdale, and then 18 months later, I found myself here. My no, top team. Great wingers. I'll dig you out a couple of matchsticks, shall I? Hey? To keep your eyes open. We're talking rugby, mate. I need a lot more than a couple of matchsticks. Damn it, there was me open to give you a slideshow of all my best bits. Yeah, right. I think I'm joking. That's better. Same again? No, right, I'll get these. You got the last no, one. That's all right, mate. Pretend to like rugby and I might even buy your curry later. You took your time. It was someone, but we split last year. Why didn't he like rugby? What about you? What about me? Had many relationships? Enough. Recently? It's been pretty quiet. So there's been nobody? No. Nah. Right, should I bump for the road? Mind if I pass? It's late. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can get one of the career house anyway, can't we? Actually, I got training in the morning. Hey, is, is there a problem? No. It's got to be a belly. Well, maybe another time. Right, well, shall I give you a bell? Why don't I bring you? All right, take care. Would have been quicker to get a bus. Do you want to tell me what all that was about in there? What do you mean? 
Well, like, you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't take me for a muppet. The barman. He told me about your boyfriend. Jackson. Yeah, that's his name. Well, go on, I'm assuming he told you a little bit more than his name. Why didn't he say anything? Well, it's hardly first date material, is it? Do you want to know how I killed my boyfriend, ended up in court and got away with it? You'd have run a mile. A bit like what you're doing now. And do you know what? I would have told you as well. But just not tonight. I wasn't hiding anything, I don't have to. Therapy taught me that, something else you didn't know about me. And who are you to judge me, anyway? I'm not judging you. Yes, you are. I don't need people like you in my life. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm well rid of you.